the comment made by my opponent, Achim Sakawa people. I've not heard any uh, public figure in this country, independent yourselves or anybody, comment on it. It's completely unacceptable. If I was to get up to make a comment about northerners or gunchas, you could imagine the uproar that would be in the country. Presidential candidate, a former president of Ghana, you can call a group of Ghanaian Sakawa people, and it involves the group for which the sitting president comes, and that comment goes without, that, that statement goes without comment. And at the same time, we hear these statements. Let's all try and uh, <laughs> bring the politics of insults to an end, etc., etc. Occasions are given where specific comments can be made. Nothing happens. And then it's lost. It's lost in the generalities. I get the impression that because of the unfortunate, in some ways, authoritarian origins of our state in its area, uh, where it was considered uh, dangerous to criticize government. The pendulum has now swung the other way, where government is the only group you can criticize. If you criticize government, no matter what you say, it's legitimate. If government was to respond, that's how my uh, illegitimate. Uh, media freedom is interpreted as meaning uh, the freedom to criticize others. But you can't criticize the press. If, for instance, they step out of bounds or they conduct themselves in an irresponsible manner. So all of this, I'm trying to say that there's a package that we all have to look at dispassionately.